Well, hello, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel for your part two love reading. All right, Taurus, we're going to go ahead and get right into your reading. We're going to see what's going to come out here for you today. This is going to be for Taurus. Let's get all four sets, all four cards, and then we'll talk about it. Oh, Taurus. Faded connection, two of cups at the bottom of the deck with the world, with the will of fortune. Whoa, faded connection here. You guys have heavy decisions to make when it comes down to a love. You're going to have, you got some heavy decisions here. Do you want to move forward in your love relationship? Is this the person you want to be with? It's that type of energy. You got some tough decisions to make. Faded connection is on the line, though. That's what it looks like. One at a time, please. This is for Taurus. Yeah, even when I split the deck, there it is. You got the six of cups. So you do have a soulmate. Mm. But what is burdening you? What is so heavy? This could be a guilty conscience. Maybe some of you guys said some things that you shouldn't have said. It could have been cruel. The queen, the queen of swords tried to come out. Maybe you said something you, you didn't, you regret now. I don't know. Two of Pentacles. There's also this energy for those who are single. You're like, you know, you're, you know what you're destined for, but you're just kind of wondering when is it going to occur? If you are separated from someone right now, believe it or not, you and this person are feeling the exact same way. You and this person are feeling the exact same way. A little unstable as far as your energy, trying to hold it together. Yeah. Mm, yeah, something did end here. Look at this. Those two came out together. Four of Pentacles. Some, some of you are holding on to someone. Now, remember I said you have a decision to make. We're going to clarify these cards. Remember, I said you have a decision that you're going to have to make in regards to a connection. Some of you may be dating different people. Some of you guys are at this place where hmm, you may have to break up or, I mean, it could be a divorce. I mean, it just depends. But there's going to be a lot of changes, rapid changes. We see that with the death card and the king and, and the knight of swords. Um, just expect that for some of you, it's going to be rapid changes for the better for others. It's just going to be an ending of a relationship that, you know, isn't going to work for you. So we're going to go ahead and clarify. We're going to start with the will of fortune. All of these are going to be upright. Let's see what's going to come out here for Taurus. All right, Taurus, you got the Ace of Pentacles. That's right. Remember, we saw the Two of Cups. So for a lot of you, you were in a long term or this is something that you're wanting. Now, you're destined for a long term committed relationship. We saw the Two of Pentacles. I mean, the Two of Cups. And now we have the Ace of Pentacles destined for a long term. You got the Six of Swords here. I mean, you guys are moving towards this direction where a brighter day is ahead. Even if no one is here, you got the Nine of Cups. That means someone is coming in. This is where you're, this is your destiny. This is, you know, your true north, where you're headed. Isn't that amazing? Can I just, can I also tell you that for a lot of you, you know, if you don't know, and I've said this before, your money, your money, there's some type of promotion or, or something. And I know this is not a, a money reading, but man, the way that those two cards came out is really, really good. That's a part of your change for some of you. When I tell you, you have a lot to look forward to. You really, really do. I see new jobs. I see relocating. I see a love that's about to be just so explosive here for you. Let's go ahead. Let's actually get one more card for that Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, Four of Swords. So for some of you right now, Things are at a pause. You know, you're going within here with the hermit card. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo um, or that could be someone that you could be dealing with. But in general, looking at the, the hermit and the four of swords, this is just inner guidance. It doesn't even have to be an actual person or a sign. This is just someone. This is just you, you know, restoring yourself, contemplating, trying to regain a sense of peace um, or you, you feel it. Right. You feel peace coming or it's starting to sit in your soul because you guys already know what's destined for you. That means you've been told this. I mean, someone has told you that 
the beautiful things that are about to occur. It means you don't have nothing to worry about. You really don't. This really is your future, which is to have peace. Some of you guys are searching for guidance and inner wisdom. Let's get to this Ten of Wands. Part of the burdens for a lot of you, like I said before, could be a guilty conscience. And for others, it's just like, I don't like my love life. <laughs> Where is it? Like, what's going on? Like, Ten of Wands is like, oh, oh my God, I'm getting tired of the BS. I'm getting tired of trying. That's what I'm seeing with the Ten of Wands. So let's see what comes out here for Taurus. Yeah, exactly. Look at, look at what came out. You guys have the three of swords. You guys have the nine of cups. So guess why that's coming out? Because for a lot of you, it's just, you, you've been like only, you, you've been an option. Yeah, nine of cups came out. Wow. Somebody has to get something off their chest. Let me just say this first. With this nine of cups, someone has to get something off their chest because truthfully here with the three of swords, there's a lot of pain here, a lot of suffering. And that's part of the three of swords energy and that ten of wands. Whether you're single or it's it's because of something that has occurred with between you and someone, there is a loss. There is a loss here. Okay. This is someone that was possibly a dream come true here with the nine of cups. And now it's become, you know, this lack of joy because you don't have it anymore. Or you haven't experienced it in such a long time if you're single. You're wondering when your, your fulfillment is going to be fulfilled. <laughs> When is your wish going to be fulfilled? And that's part of the burden. But I'm telling you right now, things are about to change because, again, I feel like you're going to follow your heart when it comes down to love. If you have a, a, two different people or if you're just single, you're going to get this nine of cups. Because remember, a 10 is, a, is an ending, meaning a completion of something. And you guys already see what's happening here with this faded energy. OK. Um, and the high priestess was at the bottom of the deck. The idea of not knowing when is also a burden. Like you hear it, but it's like, when is it supposed to happen? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's get the two of pentacles. This is going to be for Taurus. Two of pentacles. Three of cups. Mm. So some of you um, were dealing with someone who just act free, wanted to be free. That's just what they wanted. Okay. Uh, they were very selfish. There was no strings attached type of energy, but now they're missing you. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? It was all about pleasure for them and, 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 and you know, options and all of that. Now they're like, damn, there was a lot of emotional Im immaturity here. It caused a lot of instableness even within you. You could have that. That could be a part of the unstable energy within you, though, right? Some of you need relief from stress and from anxiety from this relationship or this lack of happiness, like I said before. Some of you guys have, there's something dealing with even traveling. It could have been an issue as well, where like the Six of Swords, it's like you guys could be living at a dip, distance and it's like, okay, I have my work and you have your work. You have your business. I have my business. And now you guys are trying to coordinate everything, but that's the problem with things not being able to coordinate either. You see what I'm saying? So I do see that there is going to be change. I'm sorry. It's coming. It is coming. Because again, there is some type of obstacle in the way when it comes down to this connection. You guys are going to have this, but for some of you, you're in this energy right now where you're trying to figure out if this is going to even work. There could be power struggle between you and a person that you're in love with. Okay. There is something going on here. Let's get the death card for Taurus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got the Emperor and we have the Eight of Cups. So someone in just in general may have walked away or they will be because the death card is an ending. I'm just going to tell you, you know, someone has a lack of self-control. There was some conflict. There's a lack of balance. We see that with the Two of Pentacles. Very controlling nature, power struggle, like I said before. Anger issues with someone. Very aggressive with this Knight of Swords. That's what I'm saying. Let's get one more. Yeah. Four of Pentacles in reverse. I'm not doing any reversals, but it's coming out. Somebody was even, even when it came down to the money issue, uh, someone may have, may have been financially unstable. 
and there may have been some insecurities there. You could have been a person who had all of this money and was very stable and they were not. Jealousy could have been streaming up in their soul or they could have, you know what I mean? Like they could have been feeling some kind of way. Like this is the reason why they were trying to control and be dominant or trying to have some type of power over you because they didn't really necessarily have any control or power over their life. And this is what I'm saying. Someone in general, you know, was just, was something was dealing with their finances and some of you guys were giving them money and they didn't, they weren't even giving you, giving you money back. They weren't returning the money. It was something like that. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, look at this. It was abuse of power, cowardice. Exactly. What does abuse of power mean? It talks about in general, someone who is just controlling and tyrannical in their energy. This person was very empty. So for a lot of you, it ended. Now, I do see here with the Knight of Swords, this person may not be gone. Yeah, what does it talk about? Someone who's reckless. You felt you felt taken advantage of. This person was self-sabotaging. That's what they were doing. Yeah, two of cups is in the upright. There is another person coming towards you. I'm just going to tell you. Because you got a relationship or a partner, a connection that's coming towards you that's going to be more harmonious. You're choosing happiness with this four of cups in reverse. You're getting tired of being uh, an option or being rejected. You're choosing your own happiness, happiness, which is the reason why you're ending things. Well, somebody is. Let's get it. One more. Yeah, exactly. Accepting, moving on, <laughs> finding peace. Peace, six of swords. Moving on, retreats. <laughs> this is what you guys are doing. You're leaving this quick. You're leaving this situation very quickly, actually. That's what you're going to end up doing, running away. Okay, because some of you guys were holding on to this for a while. I don't know why I picked up those cards. Why did I do that? Yeah, well, I split the deck, and this is what's coming up. <laughs> New love. Let's just put that here. New love is coming, okay? But just be patient. Some of you guys have to heal from whatever you guys have been through anyway, okay? Focus on your finances. Let's go ahead. Let's pull some cards, cards here. This is going to be for Taurus. This is for Taurus. I keep saying social circle. So some of you guys are going to be meeting someone through some type of social event or friends or family members. Taurus. Or it could be social media. It could be that type of thing. Some of you guys are like, I got two jobs, some kids, and this person didn't even pick the socks up off the floor. <laughs> exactly you were an animal trainer right you were like trying to tame somebody trying to tame a player or trying to train a grown a grown woman or grown man on how to act in relationships and again money was a factor here either somebody was just really obsessed with money or someone didn't have enough okay and if you guys are separated i do feel like there is some nostalgic energy somebody is missing someone else this is what i'm saying okay yeah, aha moment. This is what's happening with that hermit card that we saw earlier. Someone is going within. They're like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which means that someone from your past that you're separated from, you know, may be like, oh, wait a minute. I got to go back there. I got to go back there. I need to, you know, something that they discovered or thought about. I want to go make peace with them. Okay. This could happen. Oh, somebody finds you very attractive here. I see a lot of kissing, that type of thing. They remember your lips. They remember your touch. Okay. This is for Taurus. They love your lips. They could have told you that. Oh, I see reconciliation. Yeah. So someone is like ready to reveal them their feelings or at least attempt to. But you got to be careful because again, like I said, the person that you were dealing with was very immature. So the thing is, they could feel like you know, like, oh, my God, like, I, you know, I want to make this work, but they still have to be capable of satisfying you in both ways as far as romantically love and finances. I'm trying to, It has to be a stable connection. Some of you guys may feel a little rejected or abandoned by your person. OK, let's keep going. So for that new car, new love, we're going to get to see what type of new person this is. OK. Yeah, someone is, you know, um, doing some shadow work or going within. Okay. <laughs> there is going to be a turning point here. We kind of saw that with the 
uh, Wheel of Fortune. Turn the point in your life so you guys can get off this. Oh, my God, I'm not going to ever find love. That's just not true. OK, things are about to change for you very soon anyway. Let's go ahead. Let's clarify this Ace of Cups. Let's see what type of new person is coming in here. What type of new person. For some of you, you guys are like, please don't let it be like anything of the past. Please. I don't want any resemblance. <laughs> new person here for Taurus. Oh, okay. Now, look at this. This is so funny. You guys literally get the lover's card, which is either A, a Gemini, or a Virgo. But again, I feel like this could be, <laughs> it keeps coming out. You could be in love with your friend, or your friend could be in love with you, or it could be through friends. I'm telling you, friend groups on social media, something like that. But either way. I feel like it's going to be a connection based on trust and love. Some of you guys are already in this position. Now, a lot of you are going to be dating more than one person. So don't expect the first person to come along to be your person. I'm just telling you. OK, this person wants a commitment. I see that as well here with the Hierophant. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. Now, for some of you, those who are dealing with different people, you're going to see that one person is very uh Again, like almost like a con man, like this person is just trying to get something from you. And then you're going to be meeting other people who are going to be very nurturing. You know, they're going to be a provider. It's going to be that type of thing. OK, so I do see two different people for a lot of you. <laughs> and total opposite. OK, yeah. Look at that Queen of Pentacles. Exactly. Someone who's very secure in themselves and very practical when it comes down to relationships and what they want. They're going to like you a lot. They're going to like you a lot. Just as much as you like them, they're going to like you. Yeah, look at that. Ten of Cups. You could end up starting a family with this person. Yeah. And I feel like they have a tendency, though. Let's say, like, we had to talk about a bad trait of theirs. They got a very strong sense of self-respect with the strength card. But if we had to say one bad, per bad thing about this person is that they have a tendency to be withdrawn if they uh, think a lot. So they go within them themselves. You may not hear with you may not hear from them as much or they have suffered a lot of like rejection. Not that and they could be good looking and all of that. But the thing is, it's just insecurity that they have. So their their protection mechanism is to withdraw and go within and get a feel and get a little shut. They shut out or shut down. They shut people out. That's the only thing I can see from a new person that would be a negative. OK, but other than that, I see that this person is going to be pretty decent. OK. But this is what I have for you here, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you are new, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye.